What's up, boys? Today I'm going the heavy gunner, the heat. gunner, and I'm looking for all of the elemental beam the weapons that Remember spin around you, and then I'm trying to get as much beam range as possible to combine with the heavy gunner's passives, so I just have a huge screen-wide elemental fan-based attack, basically. So the sludge pump, the cryo cannon, and the flamethrower mainly. I guess I'll take some Thunderhead for now, but I'm not really looking to put much into it. Going all in on beam weapons and elemental based stuff, but those are pretty bad. And that's about it. Pretty simple build. Won't really scale with attack speed. Won't scale that well with the reload speed or lasting since the beam weapons typically have a pretty high uptime by default. So mainly just looking for beam range and then I guess some beam damage on top of that. The surface is too packed for the supply pod to land. Please clear it. I would like to get some gold so I can actually re-roll into stuff in you're case that's cute, needed. But, you're dead. but not finding enough right now. Let's see if I can find a vein somewhere before I get five. I guess I might eventually look for a level 6 overclock on that. Let's see, 10 more would get me another reroll. So, Breach Cutter is a beam, but it doesn't really circle you. Shard Diffractor could kind of work. Cryo Cannon should work though. Let's bring the temperature down a notch. Not sure if that's viable as my first weapon, but I guess we'll see. There you go. Delivery of one resupply for you, my lord. Cryo Cannon level. Stronger. Reload is not great on it, I'm pretty sure, so probably take the damage. 15 versus about 4 seconds, so yeah, reload and duration are pretty bad. I think I will take the paint job. Now it's my favorite color. would like to get a lot of overclocks on all the beam weapons, since I'm looking for a lot of general upgrades as well, which will make it a bit harder to find levels on them. Damage on the cryo cannon into an overclock. Burn, lifetime. Lifetime is pretty bad due to the high uptime already, so I guess probably this just grab that. Change everything. It at least has a bit of damage on it. Reload, probably just take the purple here. Give it to me. Crit damage, probably go with that. These are all terrible, so I guess grab that. Reload on heavy, probably some pickup radius. Reload, status effect. I'm looking for the sludge and the flamethrower, but status effect is so weak, I'm probably just gonna take the level here. I do have status on that as well now, though. I guess I'll try it. I expect it's gonna be pretty bad, though. Like, it should be good because I'm going to have three weapons scaling with it, but I just don't see it being good. Objective completed. Excellent job. Reload damage is probably better. Got it right between the eyes. Loot bug open. Try and get the thunderhead shot since that's most likely like 80% of my damage at least. None of those. I don't really want the arms core. Shard would kind of work since it bounces around. But I'd really like to get the flamethrower or the sludge pump. Gonna get cracking with the crack of toe. So now we have beam upgrades unlocked, and I can get range and duration and damage and stuff for them, which should be pretty helpful. 
but I'm mainly looking to get a lot of range on them. Damage, just take the higher one here. Can't hang around forever, Miner. These bugs aren't your friends. I guess take the Thunderhead levels. Look for an overclock on that. Damage reload, nice. piercing shots is the obvious choice there. So now I'm going to be carried by a level 6 weapon that I'm not really even trying to scale. Magnet, pretty good timing. Reload, pickup. Um, let's get a little bit more pickup pretty early on. Weapon range, beam, that's what I'm trying to get as much as possible. Reload. Not great, but it's a level for a beam weapon. This one's so mean. Yeah, the Thunderhead is so much more damage than them. Wow. Pick up... I guess? This is Reload is pretty bad on the flamethrower. Stage one completed. Well done. Taking you to stage two. Lifetime is not great. Beam damage is fine. I would only really be able to get that, but it'll help look for overclocks, I suppose. Yesterday. That's work to be done. Up and out, miner. How are they ever gonna make it? So hopefully I get the sludge pump next, but I'll probably settle for the shard diffractor if I get that. It will at least bounce around in between tight corridors and kind of do some elemental based stuff if I get some overclocks for it. I can get a bit of damage with some of those guys walking into the rocks here, but I don't think I can finish that currently. Maybe I can clear some of them out with the detonators. Lifetime... I guess when it's that much higher than yes, the other please. stuff, then it's reload speed on the flamethrower anyways. Not a great stat though. So I don't want any of these. Arm score would be good, but doesn't really fit with what I'm trying to do. There we go, sludge pump. Got all three of the elemental beam weapons that circle me that I wanted. These are terrible, wow. I guess it has to be the XP. Either that or the movement. Probably take that. It's still pretty early to get some extra XP from mining. Take the sludge pump, even though that's better. I'm a new dwarf. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Reload. These are pretty bad. I don't have a lot of gold, so I should probably just take Reward. that. Why not?
sludge pump levels. I think I'm gonna grab that. I would like to get a lot of overbox on these three. I'm betting the Thunderhead is going to be close to my number one damage though with the early piercing shots on that. Even though I'm not really scaling it at all. Still seems to be by far my biggest damage here. Actually need to aim the Thunderhead as well because I'm not gonna have enough damage otherwise. Take the Thunder or er, the Cryo level here. I really need to get all of the Thunderhead shots off on the elites that I can to make sure I have enough damage to kill them. Cryo cannon level, close to a second overclock there. there are too many to count. Get it Cryo cannon or flamethrower, I'll just take the bigger one here. Works. Sludge pump. Sure, get an overclock here, lifetime. Uh, the sludge pump actually has lower uptime than most beam weapons, so that's actually not terrible. But this will also help with that and give a bit of damage for it. So I've got a decent amount of reload for it, and they're actually pretty close. So lifetime actually would have been pretty good there. Uh, take the sludge pump level probably. Try and get the Thunderhead shots off on the elites. Reload, crit damage, probably take the level. This one's so me. There are too many to count. Get it done, Miner. Flamethrower, probably take the paint shot. That's a lot higher. Lifetime. Take the plus one beams. That'll be cool with the extra range to try and hit the entire screen. But I haven't really gotten that much beam range yet. I think I will take the level here. You're really pissing off the bugs. They're getting angrier. XP, those are pretty weak, so I don't mind grabbing some mining speed. This guy should die to the Thunderhead now. Weapon range, XP isn't that helpful at this point, and I do want that. Do a pretty good pickup radius if I can get close to this area. Thunderhead, probably grab the cryo level. Pretty big damage. Ooh, pretty big range. Oh yeah, now get yourself onto that drop pod. That's a long flamethrower. Closer to your target. Even more range. I would like some movement. I, can't get enough of this rare I stuff. think I'm gonna l see what else I get. Surely next time will be better. Sludge pump damage. I do have quite a bit of nitro, so I can grab all of the beam stuff here. Give me that. I want it. Plus one beam or damage lifetime. I probably need to take that so I have enough damage. The Thunderhead is doing a lot of heavy lifting, but I'm not scaling that. Clocking it to 11. And then I have a bit of gold, but probably just want to save it for now. 
There's beasties to shoot and work to be done. Get to it, miner. Big swoon detected. Bug up and get ready. Reload speed is okay, but it's not amazing, so I might just take the level here. Eh, that's a pretty big upgrade for the sledge pop at least. And the Thunderhead. Can't drop supplies for you yet. Loop Travel landing zone for impact. Well, oh, got it in the mouth. Thunderhead, these are pretty bad. Probably just re-roll. Uh, it's not great. Nice. But I do want the overclock. Big swarm is approaching. They really just need to make beam weapons scale a bit better with duration and stuff so that you don't have a bunch of terrible choices every time. LZ ready. And the same with drones as well. Stupid. XP, armor. Uh, nothing great here. Might just grab this for a bit of survivability. Do something epic with this. Damage, reload. That's probably better. I just a better you're cute, but you're dead. Feeling much better now. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Flamethrower damage is much better than reload. Thunderhead, eh, probably just go with the crit. Try and line up the Thunderhead shots again, since that's still most of my damage. Sludge pump, that's getting kind of close to the second overclock. If I actually end up winning this run, it's going to be because I got the level 6 piercing shots on that weapon range, is what I'm going for. Threat level increasing. Here, have a bullet in the fight! Reload. Honestly, I could probably use some HP here. I'm getting pretty low. Reload's pretty bad on the cryo cannon. Lifetime is not great. Just take the paint job. Lifetime or plus one beam. 
Lifetime's not bad, but plus one beam's also pretty cool. Bit awkward on the thunderhead angle there. Get it wrapped up, miner. The longer you stay, the harder it gets. Probably gonna have to take some hits there. Try and get a bit of XP. They're low enough now. Sludge pump. Sure. This one suits me best. Be happy you can't see my scanner. Don't, don't, but I always got you on as a rider. Get there before the timer runs out. The drop pod is not going to hang around. Lifetime reload are both pretty bad. Hell yes. Get yourself onto that drop part. It's about to head out. You want some more? That's one for the books. Not Taking quite. Into stage four, minor. Unfortunately, that's the Thunderhead. I don't think I want any of these. That's really expensive for what it does. I'm feeling lucky. That will get me to 18, but that would get me close and damage is the best stat on them. Probably take that. That's the one. I want another go. Take the sludge pump this. level. I don't mind some reload to all of the weapons. I already feel strong. HP is nice. okay. Next. Probably some beam damage. This works. And that's everything here. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. I'm getting too old for this shit. So I can probably get two unsables with the cryo and the sludge pump. Would have been cool if I could get all three of the beam weapons, but it doesn't seem like that's happening here. One shop left and maybe nine levels or so. My artifacts have been pretty bad so far. The XP when mining is okay, but the other two are... Well, I guess it's good early on, but it kind of falls off as your XP requirements to level up, scale up. So, pretty weak artifacts overall. Objective completed. Excellent job. Damage, probably. I'm having an epic vision. Do you like her? The swim is heading your way. I'm Load up. I'm a little inside every time I have to take out the beach. Well done. Should've worn a hard hat. 
stupid. These are not great. Nitro crit is decent. I'm raring to at least. That Thunderhead still seems to be by far my biggest damage. That's a lot of detonators. I can get some decent XP going on over here. If I pull the enemies together first and then set them off. Boom, baby. Reload. Damage is better. And I only need one level, which I'll probably get into the shop anyways. Pretty long flamethrower. Yeah, XP won't do a whole lot at this point. Hello and good boy. Can get some more big explosions off with all of them pulled together. The bugs are getting worse. Move it. Reload is not great. Let's just do a reroll here. Sludge pump level is helpful. This one shoots the best. Can still go for the unstable on that. Think you could kill me? Well think again. Cryo cannon, max it out. Probably better than that stuff. And plus three beams is pretty nice for the fan elemental build. Don't really care about that. Sludge pump helps. Much better. This one's for Carl. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. Stage four is done. Onwards to stage five we go. So two more on the sludge pump. This is the last shop. That would finish it. Crit damage is decent. Epic upgrade. Plus That's three beams there. Time, Nine on that. Pretty unlikely even with good paint Surely jobs next here. Time will be better. I could take some beam damage. I rarely pick one of these. See what else we got for Nitra. Reload is not great. I will take plus one beams. Legendary, it's my lucky day. This is the big one, miner. Find and destroy the cocoons and take out that dreadnought. I would need to get three decent paint jobs to get that. So I guess technically it is possible, but it's not at all likely. I'm betting the level 6 Thunderhead is probably my number one damage. And if not, it's probably very close to it. The early piercing shots is just insane damage for a level 6 weapon. Even though I put everything into beams. Come and get me, you Those are pretty bad. I don't have any gold scaling, so I could look for some flamethrower stuff. Probably just grab the crit here. 
I'm almost definitely going to need that here for the boss. Especially with how weak my artifacts are, the nitrogenic powder is actually decent, but those are doing almost nothing at this point. Minerals, they will get you killed. AoE actually doesn't seem too bad though. Die, monsters! Here, proper vein, let's get it. Shoot it in the face! Need to try and hit the Thunder Edge shots and clear those guys out so I have some more room to move around. I could maybe get an overclock there, but probably not. Let's see what else there is. Damage. I keep him at max range that should be able to hit him. Eh, it's kind of risky. He's going to charge soon. Now I should have enough time. As long as I don't freeze him outside of the circle. So that's the only one that really helps here. I could get an overclock there. Lifetime, get a bit of damage. I'm going to try and stay pretty close to him so that multiple beams are hitting at the same time. And I also need to make sure the Thunderhead is hitting, since, again, that's a lot of my damage, actually. Yeah, the single target is pretty bad, even with maximizing the Thunderhead and multiple beams at the same time. In fact, it's extremely bad. Let's try and pull them into some of the detonators. I'm actually not sure if they hit the Dreadnought. Well, the build looks cool at least, and that's what counts. The bugs are going insane. Move, move, move. This is the slowest, like, 10% I've ever seen. Oh, thank god, an extra 0.5% crit. Now we got him. Easy. So that's it for the elemental fan heavy gunner. Easiest boss kill ever. If you liked the video, then leaving me a like or a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, level 6 Thunderhead, and it's not even close. Let's see, there's a bit of extra fire from the dots from those two. About 2 million fire from both of those. Wow, actually about almost 7 million acid there. So the Sludge Pump was actually kind of close, level 6 versus level 18, but it's still lower. Yeah, they're pretty... 
beam weapons are pretty bad and they just don't scale well. Since they have the high uptime, they don't really get much from reload or duration. I don't really know what they can do about that. You could make them attack multiple times, but that might be kind of OP. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.